First of all, you look happy. Uh, I don't know why. No, just kidding. <laughs> yeah. It's great job good. out there. Thanks. What were you thinking coming down that last stretch? Um, you know, the last curve, I could kind of actually don't even know who it was behind me. I think it was a bear yeah. from Indiana. Yeah. I could see he was sticking right on me, and I was giving it all I had, and he wasn't. Didn't seem to be going anywhere, so I thought, oh, maybe he has something left. He's just gonna. He's just waiting for the straightaway. So I got that straightaway and just <laughs> gave it all I had, thinking that he was coming up, and somehow held him off, I guess. So. Any thoughts of uh, your race tomorrow while you were thinking about it? Or you're like, oh man, no. I hope we don't have to go too once, fast. Once it was, once those, those top three of us were separated for a little bit, I was like, all right, we got a, we got a chance for the win. And that's what I kind of told myself. As long as we were in contention for the win, I was just going to give it all I had. You know, no, not leave anything for tomorrow. And the guys did a great, the other guys did a great job of putting us in contention. Actually got the baton first, which I actually wasn't hoping for, but <laughs> it worked out. And uh, yeah, so I felt the pressure. I was like, all right, gotta, gotta show up for these guys. Were you a little worried about coming back from the mile prelim or to? You know, I was, it was initially, but once, you know, this afternoon after the, the prelim, I was feeling really good and uh, warming up. I actually felt, I think I felt better before this than I did before the prelim. Just a lot more loose, so. But it was, it was, it really scared me coming into the meet. Right. But between the two, actually, I felt a lot better about it. Do you have any idea what you split? I, I heard it was a 56. 56 so. That's easy for you now, right? <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. I think our, our split seemed to be a little kind of all over the place. I heard uh, 157 through 800, and then I, I was just watching the clock a little bit, and I think we had like probably 61 or 62 in there, and then just came yeah, back. That's when Bayer caught up. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was just the three of us, and all of a sudden, uh, with what would have been like two laps to go, I kind of looked back, or I looked at the screen, and I was like, oh, there's four of us now. So got someone else in, that's when I realized I probably should go. So. Coach, uh, Coach Eyestone yesterday, I asked him, what does it take to win the DMR? He goes, you know, I've never done it. You'll have to ask me, hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Did he, what was the message he gave you guys before the race? I think he tried to just let us know that we could do it. Uh, to the, the guys, our first leg, second, third leg, he was just telling them, you know, you just got to put yourself in there. And our, our 1200 Lake Brian Wire, he was just telling us, yeah, I'm going to hand off in first. I'm going to hand off in first. Tell us the whole time. And I was like, all right, like, there's some pretty good guys on that leg, <laughs> you know. But he was confident about it. And I don't, I don't think he got in first, but he was up there. And then uh, our 800 leg, Justin Heaton, he came through big time. Uh, just, oh, I was like, whoa, we're in first now. <laughs> so those guys came through. And he just kept telling them, you know, you got to get in good position. He told me just to, uh, I don't know, he did. <laughs> Just told me to be smart, you know. And he just said, if there's a gap to make up, don't make it up all at once and move up. There wasn't, and so he said, if you get in first, you just got to be ready to go. So I went and kind of half-heartedly, and then the, the guys passed me, and I, I was really happy when that happened. So it was a relief to just have someone to ride off with for a while. Cool, man. Well, uh, it was a great race. We're looking forward to that mile tomorrow. So uh, yeah. have you had any uh, thoughts of tomorrow or strategy? Or? Um, I don't know. <laughs> like strategy, I think you just kind of have to go by feel and just see what, how it feels. That's what I did today. I, I had no, no clue until probably five seconds before I did it that I was going to go and I did. Um, so I think just got to play it by ear and uh, hopefully see how I'm feeling. Hopefully I'll be feeling okay. And uh, yeah, I'll just go from there. We've been running great this year, so good Thank luck you. tomorrow.